we cold stratified them in the, in 2017, October of 2017 to be exact. And doing how you cold stratify them is you take a gallon Ziploc bag and you take potting soil or another medium, like another medium. And we took these chestnuts, set them out on the counter, and we took the potting soil, put it in a bag, put a little water on it to make it moist, and then we put the chestnuts down in a line and we spaced them out about an inch apart or half inch apart, depending on how many you want to fit in the bag. So we put another layer on it, a little bit more water to make it more moist, and we did the exact same thing over and over again until we had a full bag. And then we put these bags in the refrigerator and let them sit for about a few months. And this cold, the cold air from the fridge, the moisture in the water and the moisture in the soil and this medium itself tricked the trees and it tricked the nuts into thinking that they were in the ground. So they started to sprout. And around January, we took them out and it was either January or February, ma'am. We took them out and we checked them for sprouts and we checked them for moldiness. And whichever ones were moldy, we threw away. And whichever ones were sprouts, we put them back in the bag and kept them. And in February, we planted, we took these sprouts and we put them in um, trays, root maker trays. And so we plugged in the grow light, hung it to the exact length that we needed it, and we put the root maker trays underneath. This tricked the trees into thinking that they were actually in the ground and the light was sun. So they started to grow. And around April to May, we had trees growing in our basement and we would water them however needed. And in May of 2018, I planted 25 chestnut, Dunstan chestnut trees from my 4-H project. 